I can't see anything. Where is it? <sighs> okay. Desperately need a coffee. Oh, God. Yuck. Okay, that's the cleanest way to go. I really hope nobody sneezed on this tree or something. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance. And a deep breath. <gasps> <sighs> made it. Uh, I swear I could almost feel this virus everywhere. It's like so wet and sick. Jesus. I feel like I'm in a fucking Chernobyl episode. It just feels so contagious. Thank god there's no one in the streets, except this lady. She's not gonna get close, right? Why is she not wearing a mask? Whoa! She almost touched me! Jesus Christ! Are they gonna be hygienic in this coffee shop? They better be. I mean, this is important, right? You're serving clients coffee. In these special times, you, you, you really need to know what you're doing. You can't just, you know, be careless. What is this truck doing here? Just want to get my coffee. No, no, no way. Are you kidding me? Now the coffee shops are closed. Ah, <sighs> goddamn virus. Remember to not touch my face with my hands now. I don't know who touched the scooter earlier. I hope the supermarket will not be freaking full. Oh my god. I've never seen here so many people. Okay, what do we definitely do? I need to get essentials first. Essentials, water, yes. fruits, vegetables, but bread. But so many people here. Wow, I can't even think with this amount of pressure. Yeah, take a pack of apples. Oh, I feel like I need to do things fast. Okay, just try to think clearly. What do you need? Maybe I need some chips. What do you need? Maybe some healthy chips. But does health even matter right now? <laughs> I don't feel so amused at the moment, to be honest. Does she understand how important this is? Trying to think, what do we actually need? We need oranges. Kim is already here. Why am I here as well? I'm gonna go and get some other things. I am definitely stressed. Only two left. And it's definitely not gonna be enough for a week of curfew. It's funny to do shopping for a week. This is good. Like, more and more. They're hard to suck. Yeah, it's okay. And it's yeah, for a week. Done in a week after yeah. A week. <laughs> yeah. We definitely need some bread, but everybody touched it. This is not a good bread. I'm looking for bread, but... I like so like sadistic in my mind. I was like, I just wanted like cough and like. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was kind of funny. Should I get this? So many goddamn people. I don't feel safe. Just move, move. Ugh. Is this where the breads are? Hmm. Of course, the healthier breads are empty. God damn it! All we have is this white gluten full bread. I don't eat this. Which I never eat, but at these times, you gotta compromise. It's not enough. Should I take another one? Does she need my help? It's another white bread. 
God damn it, she knows that I don't eat white bread and now I bought two packs of it. This is embarrassing. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. What am I even looking at? You guys on right? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna do turns? And I'll go out a bit? I'm getting really dizzy. I need to go out right now. This is absolutely fucking crazy. I, I can feel the tense energy inside. This is scary. Like the, the fear is in the air. I'm gonna take a deep breath and finish the shopping, go home, have a bath. like uh, those apocalyptic movies. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I need to laugh at it otherwise it's not gonna fucking work. Yeah. What am I actually afraid of? What is this situation telling me? Am I really afraid of the virus? Or is it something else? Coronavirus fears sent the markets plunging. One congressman is asking the Securities and Exchange Commission to invest. How does all these thoughts make me feel? To be honest, I feel like shit right now. And it's all my thoughts. Just me. Is this what I want to create in myself? Fear, panic, stress, confusion, headaches. Fuck, this sounds like the virus already infected me. How much more will I allow this to happen? How low will I let myself sink? I want to know what my brother thinks about all this situation. The man and the chocolate. Wow. Scared you? Yes. I know a guy who needed to be in a quarantine because he was in a place where a corona infected was there. And he didn't follow the quarantine and he went out and people who were surveilling him knew because his phone was out of his house that he was not in the house reached him and tell him go back to your house what is your phone going along go back Thank he you. reached him in the phone i don't know in what way you reached him like part of me is like feeling safe because of it because okay they're making sure that people are actually staying in the house but other part of me is like holy fucking shit yeah they have it we might have a reality change like quite quickly you're like okay it's not what we used to know anymore it's a bit different now now the values are different food is more important now or yeah. um. <laughs> it's like it's like a heavy topic man i have this kind of a <laughs> almost a surrender about this yeah yeah it's like yeah, uh, you i don't like, I know that the worry is actually generating more problems. Yeah. How many times in your life worry actually got you somewhere? Yeah, no, no, so. not, not a lot of times. But decisions needs to be made on a, on a, on a self kind of governing mechanism, you know? This is, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want the virus, but I also don't actively throw wood into this fire. Right. It's like, uh, how much you want to put attention into something that you don't want? The one thing I might say I'm afraid of is like staying alone with like, uh, with no money. This is kind of where, where, where I see like, okay, I need to prevent this.
like a part of me is happy for the fact that they are not allowing businesses to open because it 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 does seem like a good idea and to be cozy at the house for like a week now <laughs> doesn't sound like a bad idea either because we are in a cozy place yeah and in love <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine being stuck with somebody that you hate. You know, I was thinking about that, you know, like I think some relationships will probably like have some beautiful challenges, don't you think? Like some long-term like marriages and maybe, you know, oh things will surface. It puts people, it's kind of grounds people to like, okay, you're not moving too much. You're staying at home. You almost invited to do some shadow work and seeing what is actually it is important to you. We can have awareness about our vibration and where our focus, like where is my attention going and how does that feel in my body? So if I'm stressing or worrying or panicking, thinking about where I put my hands when I go out, how does that make me feel? You know, what is the consequences for that for my, my whole being? And if I'm feeling that the stress is like ah, coming into my 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 system like mm. I have to take care of myself and come back to the heart and come back to I, I said I don't know how many times I said today when we went to the supermarket like humor is going to be so fucking important we have to laugh at this really like or shaking like we did yeah so it's taking care of our energetic of body as much as the physical one you know like okay there's actually nothing I can do mm. so I can choose stress or I can choose being relaxed mm-hmm I think being relaxed feels a bit better, so why don't I be yeah. relaxed? Yeah. This is kind of like my approach at the moment. It's like yeah. I, I, there is honestly nothing I can do except just trying to be a little bit more careful. So. Yeah. It might be the end of the world, you know, there's a lot of like, you know, right. catastrophic things, you know, but let's say it is, let's play with the idea. We're all going to die now within two months, you right. know. So what then? Like we can, do you, do you want to, to stress, stress? Right. <laughs> like. And you also don't know anything about it. So it's yeah. like, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's almost like I forgot something that I learned long time ago. I forgot that I create my own reality. And that every thought that I think affects my body. I forgot that if I want to be healthy, there is no way I can be in stress. I forgot that I am made of the universe and every cell of my body was once a part of a star. I forgot that the infinite intelligence that created life is running through my veins. And that everything good that happened in my life happened because I trusted myself and trusted life. I know that fear will come back. And when it does, this time, I will remember. Whew, that was a great one. Now, where is my toilet paper? Oh, my, my. It feels so good. It feels so good. It feels so good. Oh.